So today I'm fishing these crap hole locations in Miami. When I talk about crap hole, I'm talking about filthy, dirty, gross. Uh, and we're gonna see if we can pull out some fish. Oh, I'm on, I'm on a fish. Nice, what is this? What is this? I'm on, right there. All right, got him. Woo. Oh, there it is. So at ICAST, got these little Berkeley baits at the end of the show. It was me, Maddie Two Gats, and the real Jex. We were around with our little bags open, say, hey, if you guys don't want to put those lures away, you know, you could throw some of these bags. So I've been using this pink one, but I actually want to try something that matches the hatch a little bit more. Oh, and by the way, I did catch peacocks on this, but this kind of matches the hatch a little more to what these fish are feeding on. So let's let's go. Disregard the mess in the back of my truck. I blame Monster Mike for all of it. Just a little cinch knot. I only do it that many times. I don't lose fish on my knots, so you can use whatever knot you prefer. This works for me without issue so there we go and what i did notice i was like i said i was using the pink one these things slash back and forth in the water really well so i, I really like the action on them um just depends on what type of water you're fishing because right now this is a little shallow so it'll be a little more difficult but i do see something that i like in the water here so let's see if it's too heavy or not that's very interesting I might have to put this down for just a moment to try something else. You guys definitely can't see in the water, but I'm gonna use this little fly lure right here. It's a game changer fly lure. You guys have been watching the channel, you know I've been using these. Just got it wet. I throw it on the Kestrel Elite from Cast King. We're gonna throw that right there. And we're gonna see I'm gonna let that sink down a little bit. Sink down a little. And if I can catch what I'm looking at, then uh, y'all understand why I'm doing this. You know what? We're gonna switch this one more time because this is not working. I'll be right back. That's it. That's what I'm using right now. Yeah, there was about six little snook and a peacock right over there. Oh, son of a bitch. So listen guys, I'm throwing this tiny little lure, Kestrel Elite. Where'd he go? He was right there a second ago. Uh, oh, I'm on. I'm, I don't know what it is, but I'm on. Please tell me it was a little snook. Oh, it's a little peacock bass. Hey, but at least I got a fish, guys. <laughs> and I, I was under pressure because I got people watching me. Look at this. <laughs> Come here, buddy. I'll let you go back. You're not what I wanted. These little cheap baits work so well. As long as you know how to work a bait, it doesn't matter how much money you spend on it. Fish within your budget and you can still catch fish and be happy. There we go. That's good luck, right? Ladybug. 
Not too much. What was up? What's up, dude? <laughs> Chilling, yeah. man. How are good? Doing? All right. Hi. There's a ton of <laughs> snook here. Look, there's a little snook right there. Yeah. There's like four snook over there. I get them to follow, but then I'm not getting them to hit. I've tried three different lures so far. So I switched to this tiny little cheapy. But then he turns. Yeah. I'm just here killing a little bit of time. What about you, man? Yeah, I saw y'all. It looked like y'all had fun, man. I was down at the sandbar yesterday in Kila or Ala Mirada. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, it was fun. Yeah. Oh, oh, I hit. Did you see it hit my tail? Yeah. Dang, I think that was a little mine though. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. I just want to hook something in the face. You need to get out in a boat, man, and go do something. And I just got my boat all ready. I went, powered it up, and my throttle cable is frozen. So I gotta take it to swap out the cable. Oh, this is just that though, right? Yeah, so far it's just that. <laughs> yeah, man, I was like, damn. I'm stubborn, I'll sit here for an hour trying to catch the same stupid fish. So, hey, man. All right, man. Um, hit me up, man. Let's see. We'll hook up soon, bro. Yeah, for sure. All right, Brian. I need to go down to the Keys again, too. Bro, let, let me know, man. I'm always down, bro. Remember, I'm always starting Sunday, Monday. So yeah. You know ahead of time. Because. Okay. But my crew, I can, I can, I can finagle the day off, man. Okay. All right, Brian. So, all right, man. Yep. So, that was my buddy Joey hanging out with me on the side of the road there. Fun fact about this location is I actually put him on his very first snook right here. Check it out. All right, we don't want a peacock. First cast, down there in the middle. middle? Yeah, right down the middle. All right, this is the first cast of the day. I don't even have my uh, rod in my hand. Not my fishing rod, at least. Um, and then slowly bring it towards the pipe. You're gonna wanna bring it right in this area right here as it starts to get into the shadows. All right, you're getting into the strike zone now. Can we get one on the first cast? We're just reeling it in, he cast it down, and we're just slowly working it towards the pipe. Now, when you get right in here, just let it drop and swim naturally. Oh, whatever it is, it's a fish. Yeah. You're on, no? You might want to walk down there. Oh. Hey! Oh. Hey! First cast, First baby! Cast, baby. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. Holy crap. You didn't even know he took it. Oh. A little gentle, gentle snook. All right, first cast of the day. I like it. Well, we already got his PB snook. For real? Just like that. Now he has to land it. Man, we got six pounds here, man. Want me to hold your rod? Yeah. I'll hold your little that, rod here. That, use a little rod, yeah. Yeah. Man, look at this thing, man. Nice. Look at that. Brian, you put me on my PV snook, bro. There we go. All right, so congrats to Joey for uh, catching his very first snook. I mean, it was a little while back, but still, man, your first snook, you're always going to remember that. So back to today, you know, I drive around. I'm still trying to hit these crappy little dirty holes. You know, there's just trash and sewage and stuff in these spots. Uh, I probably should wash my hands one more time um, from just fishing these holes. But let's get back in the video, guys. I catch a few more fish and I go hang out with my son for a little while and uh, just enjoy my day. I just wanna say thank you for uh, watching the video. You know, if you uh, like the content that you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there in the corner and uh, turn on your notification bell because, you know, I got lots of videos coming up. I got a lot more fishing in me and the boat's fixed. So uh, we're gonna be doing some salt water as well. Sharks, snook, tarpon, snapper, permit, like anything I can get my uh, hook into, we're gonna try and catch. Enjoy the rest of the episode. What's that? Toss right here. Oh, oh, I'm on, I'm on a fish. Nice. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's in the, it's in the grass. Ah, oh, it's wrapped. 
Ah, oh, they got him. All right, big old Mayan cichlid. Big old Mayan cichlid. That's a nice fat one right there. Look at this ugly, ugly location. I'm gonna try and catch a fish right now. I've got the Cast King MG12 with the Berkeley bait, and then I've got the Cast King Castro Elite with the little tiny bait I got off of Amazon with a ball jig. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put these both to the test, see if there's anything. First off, there's a little gap in the mud or algae or whatever the heck this crap is. So I'm gonna drop this down real quick and set this to the side. That is a dump right there. So it smells amazing over here. Like just amazing. But sometimes if you just drop this straight down and boop, 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 get it close. Sometimes you get a fish. Look right in that gap. Right there, you see that? That is a Mogan Snook. Sheesh. And these little trashy little trash canals right here in Miami, Florida. Yep, more crap holes. We're gonna try and fish them though. I gave up on those little crappy locations. Got a couple fish out of them, but for the most part, it just smelled really bad. And uh, I didn't catch anything. Nothing worth uh, even taking a picture of. Oh, I'm, oh what was that? I was about to say I'm on and I was already off. Let's try that again. I'm gonna get a large mouth. That had to have been a large mouth. Slow, slow, slow. I'm on, right there. Yeah, that's what I thought I was gonna get. A little large mouth. Here it is. Peacock. Oh, it happens. Yeah. Um, with that rod tip, because it's light, you got to keep it up a little higher because if you bring it forward too fast, it'll, uh, it'll whip a little, just fix that hook. I think I see a fish at the bottom right here. All right, got him. Woo. Another nice peacock bass. Stay on, stay on, stay. Oh, yeah, you guys saw it. I'm standing up on these, this uh, culvert here, so I gotta lift it up pretty high out the water. That's my excuse for the day. But you know what? Me, I'm fishing right now, catching fish, hooking fish, and fighting fish. You guys are at home watching this on on the internet. Oh, I thought I had another one on. Oh, I thought I had another one on. Nah, that's just grass. Come on. Nope. There's more under there. I just lost that one too. Brought it too close. Right here. Let's see. Oh, here, cast over here. See my fish? Cast right there. There, oh, so, here, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Dang. There it is, peacock bass, baby. Where's that hook at? Right there. Chill, buddy. There you go. Oh, you ate my tail. Oh, come on. 
Come on. Come on. Oh, peacock. There's a peacock there, but I didn't get a peacock. I got myself an, a cichlid here, even though a peacock bass is actually a cichlid. Got myself a Mayan. There it is. Little Mayan cichlid. Whoop. Oh, almost dropped my rod in the water. So even though he wasn't in the video that much, I got to hang out with my son and fish for a couple hours. We got a few, um, but then, you know, the rain started moving in because it is South Florida. I hit a few more spots, try some more of these crap hole spots, and I end up at a spillway and uh, catch a couple fish. Check it out. See some fish. Come on. Little peacock bass. Quick release. Boom. Didn't mean to drop you. Oh, lost my lure. Damn it. I see like five or six peacock bass in here, guys. So, like I said, that last fish, it destroyed my lure. Flung my lure somewhere, so I got nothing here. Man, there's some big fish in here. There's some big fish. It's right in that back corner right there. Just want to get thumped. That's it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's another peacock bass. It's another peacock bass. Strong, he's fighting. He's fighting. Come on. Oh, it's a male. Nice male. Nice male. Nice male. Come here. There it is. Nice peacock bass. Blum blum. He got a little belly on it too. Get this out. Don't shake. Hey, thank you for the thank you for the fight. Boom. Right back in the deep. So that's it guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you like fishing content and the outdoors and even some comedy because I do some funny skits here and there as well, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells because you don't wanna miss any of my upcoming episodes. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Brian the CEO and also Facebook, Brian the CEO Fishing. Guys, that's it, that's a wrap. So until next time, always remember, keep your head up, keep moving forward and tight lines. Zzz.